Centripetal or tangential? What word do we use? Let's learn physics. You're just driving along the road, looking at your speedometer in a particular direction. That's your tangential velocity. The direction is straight ahead, parallel to your direction of motion. Now let's say you speed up. That's going to be a tangential acceleration. Tangential velocity is straight ahead and you're speeding up. So an acceleration is straight ahead. If you're slowing down, that's a straight ahead tangential velocity and a backward acceleration. Both I'm going to call it tangential because now we have to talk about turns. Remembering that velocity is speed on the speedometer with the direction from the compass and acceleration is the rate of change of that velocity. Just keep in mind that tangential, that term is all about speed and not direction. The tangential acceleration is all about the rate of change of speed, slowing down or speeding up. This is just a constant tangential speed with zero tangential acceleration. Now, the centripetal acceleration is all about the rate of change of direction. This one is only changing direction. Tangential is always along the tangent. It's those black lines. Centripetal, always toward the center. Keep that in mind, toward the center, perpendicular to the tangent. Here you're coming out of a curve onto a straight. Those black lines represent the tangential velocity at those three points. And the blue arrows are the centripetal accelerations representing the turning. That's a constant tangential speed with a changing velocity, changing direction represented by the centripetal acceleration toward the center. Both of these values are properly linear measurements because they're both measured in meters per second squared or meters per second every second. They're not angular or rotational. Remember that pesky Newton's second law that all accelerations in the universe are caused by net forces? Well, that's true about the tangential acceleration. All changes in speed are caused by a tangential net force. In the centripetal acceleration, all changes in direction are caused by that centripetal net force toward the center. You're driving some backcountry road at speeds that are way too high. You hit a crazy rise like this and you start dropping and you feel the pit of your stomach drop out. You're feeling the centripetal acceleration caused by a centripetal force. Tangential velocity is forward, centripetal force and centripetal acceleration are down. Hit a big dip in the road, your tangential velocity is forward, and the centripetal acceleration, that changing direction, is caused by the centripetal force toward the center. So your tangential velocity is that speedometer reading with the direction. And if you're slowing down, the tangential net force causing a slowing down is backward. And if you're speeding up, that tangential net force is forward causing the tangential acceleration. Tangential net force is backward causing a tangential acceleration slowing down. Now it turns green. Go! Go! Tangential net force is forward, causing the tangential acceleration forward. If you're turning right, there isn't any tangential acceleration. It's all centripetal acceleration perpendicular to your velocity, right. Turning left, it's the opposite. Tangential velocity is straight forward again, but the centripetal force causing the centripetal acceleration perpendicular to you, left. Turning left, tangential velocity is forward and left perpendicular to your velocity, that is your centripetal net force causing a centripetal acceleration. Now if you're going to do something crazy like turn left and slow down, you have tangential net force and centripetal net force causing two separate accelerations which combine into one. Here I am slowing down and turning right. Still turning right, now speeding up a little bit. Keep in mind that net forces cause accelerations, and accelerations are the rate of change of velocity. Centripetal net force causes a change in direction. The tangential net force causes a change in speed. That tangential is just forward or backward. It's parallel to the velocity. It's all about the speed. Centripetal, toward the center, perpendicular to your direction of motion, and it's all about direction. Keep them separate. Centripetal and tangential.